Hey everybody, welcome back to Mission Control for another Quick Tips video. In this video we're talking about keyframe shapes from palettes. Palettes can be used to create your keyframe shapes. This means that not only can you create your keyframe shapes faster, if you update the palette, the keyframe shape is also updated. Palettes can be put in a keyframe shape in two manners. Use your daily wood, select your pictures, select your palette, then record the frame. Change the record mode to quick build, select the pictures, then as you select these palettes, it'll automatically record a frame. So let's take a look at that. Here I am, our version 15.1 of Titan on the Titan Go virtual interface. So if I was to say, oh, select your BMFLs, and then go shapes and effects, uh, keyframe shapes, create, and then as I select, uh, well, let's select, we select to go ahead and turn them red, and then we'll add a frame, and then amber, add a frame, yellow, add a frame. And we'll do one more green, add frame. You can see it's recorded each of those. So if we hit uh, finish recording frames, and then we'll make our effect editor a little smaller here so we can see it here. And we'll use our, I'll play back here to bring up our intensities. We can see that we have our colors changing. Say that's, that's great. We'll go ahead and record that here. And then we'll hit clear. And we'll see that if we run our uh, keyframe shape here that it changes the colors as we would expect. So let's say I was to oh, select our BMFLs and we'll give them a locate and we'll change uh, oops, let's turn it all the way off and we'll go ahead and fire our red color palette but then we'll go to color and instead of making it red we'll make it a bright cyan and we'll go ahead and hit record select our palette and quick merge and I hit exit and clear, and we can see that when we fire our keyframe shape now, and we bring up our intensity, we can see that it now goes to cyan instead of red in our uh, keyframe shape. So to show this a second time, we'll go ahead and select our BMFLs, and we'll give them a locate, and we'll put intensity in our programmer and then we'll go ahead and go to uh, shapes and effects, keyframe shapes, create. And instead of uh, our record mode is channel, we'll change it to quick build. So now every time I tap a palette, it will automatically uh, put that as my uh, frame. So I'll go ahead and select this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. And let's say that we're happy with that. So we're gonna finish recording frames. And you can see that it goes through uh, all of our positions here. We'll go ahead and slow this down. We'll set our BPM to oh, 20. And we'll make these all snap instead of crossfade. So we'll say we're happy with that. We'll go ahead and hit record and record it to a playback here. And we'll hit exit and clear. And we'll see now if we fire our shape, we get uh, through our different positions. Let's so go ahead and select our UFLs, throw a locate on them, and we'll fire uh, this position. And uh, then we'll go ahead and modify it. So we'll position, we'll take our tilt, and we'll point it all the way up like that just to really show that we've changed it. And we'll go ahead and hit record here and quick merge. And I'll hit clear. Now when we fire this, we'll see that it goes through all of our uh, keyframe shape as expected as fast as it can uh, with that big movement on that first one. So has been using palettes and keyframe shapes. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Dave Lights US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Real stop. Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.